Hi guys, I am back and today I have an empties video for you. I have a lot of products. Um, so I am going to just jump right into it um, and get started showing you all the things that have finished um, in the last, I would say like three months. So um, I would say that these are things from July, August, September, and then the beginning of October. So let me jump into it. So the first things I finished here are the Matrix Biolage Color Lash Shampoo and Conditioner. These are in like this eco-friendly like cardboard bottle. It's lined with plastic on the inside. These were on clearance um, at Ulta for $11.47 a piece, which I thought was a really good deal. They are not, they're half liter size, so they're not a full liter, but I believe they're bigger than the just originally packaged shampoo and conditioner from them. So I thought it was a steal. I picked these up. I really like the shampoo and conditioner. This is maybe the third or fourth time I've ever used it in my life. I feel like it makes my hair feel really good. Um, and I don't think that there was a formula difference. Um, oh, this one actually says vegan formula. Is the regular one vegan? I'm not sure, but this one was good. Smelled the same, worked the same. I really liked it. If I could find these again on sale, I totally would repurchase. Finished a body care set here. This is the Kapari Hydrating Vitamin C Shower Oil and the Kapari Coconut Hydrating Body Milk. One of these I got at TJ Maxx and then I found the other one at Ulta about that. I <laughs> dropped it on the floor. Um, I think it was the lotion I found at TJ Maxx and then I got the um, the shower oil um, from Ulta on sale. So I used them together. They both smell amazing like mm, coconut milk, fresh, a little like musky. It is so Oh, good. I highly recommend if you want a very straight up fresh coconut milk scent um, for the summertime. This was great. I really liked the shower oil. I feel like it was very moisturizing. It felt great on the skin. The lotion was okay. Probably not my favorite. I would say that the shower oil definitely is superior. Um, but yeah, the smell is really good. Um, and I would, I would definitely get again in the future. It was a really great summertime experience. I have a, one pack of my Equate Rose Water Cleansing Towelettes. I might have more in there. This is my favorite makeup remover towelette. They are moist, they are soft, they don't break me out, they remove makeup really well. I love them. I don't have any bad things to say about them and I will continue to always repurchase. This is something my boyfriend finished and the only reason I mention this is because it is the Head & Shoulders uh, Medicated Shampoo with Selenium Sulfide and I had mentioned this in one of my last empty videos but he actually uses this as a body wash to medicate his eczema. Um, it's actually very effective in doing so so if you suffer from eczema I highly recommend finding something that has the selenium sulfide in it, it works really, really well to help with the eczema patches that he has. Just that like on his arms and legs and his chest area, but to like actually get clean, he just uses like a bar soap most of the time. So this one's the Bath & Body Works Whiskey Reserve. He actually just put this into the shower. So not quite an empty, um, but I have more in here that I'll show you, but I always get these for free and they all pretty much smell the same and he likes them so this is kind of what we stick with there's more in there i know but we <laughs> get to them there's there's quite a bit on top here so this next thing i have is the sauce beauty deep moisture hair mask i had gotten a um it wasn't a sample it was just a packet of it which i had was able to use a few times um and i liked the packet so i was like let me buy the full size the full size i didn't love as much um i felt like it was pretty generic yes it provided a lot of moisture yes it smelled good but like was it the best thing i've ever tried in my life no for that reason i don't think i would have purchased even though i did technically repurchase this one um this is the guacamole whip hair mask which i don't know if you know anything about this brand sauce but like all of their products are like sauces or dips like they're named after things like that they don't smell like it thankfully <laughs> this smells really good it kind of just reminds me of like a 
herbal essence or garnier fructis kind of smell um very like fruity but um yeah i would say it's a pretty generic deep uh deep conditioner moisture hair mask not something I would have purchased, but it was nice while I had it. Some more hair stuff. I have the Batiste Love is Love Dry Shampoo. This I got at clearance at TJ Maxx for $4. Um, I think it was on clearance because the scent was not that great. It was like a peach, irres irresistible peach smell. Not really the best smell. It worked great, like a normal, you know, regular Batiste Dry Shampoo, but the smell was not my favorite, so I would not repurchase that scent. Um, I finished a Redken One United um, leave-in. It's like a leave-in conditioner. It's a 10 type product, but this one claims to do 25 things. I love this. This is holy grail status for me. Um, I've owned this in the past and I will repurchase it in the future once I work through a bunch of the leave-ins that I currently have, but this is amazing. It smells amazing. It works amazing. It does not dry, um, oh, sorry, it does not weigh down your hair. Um, I feel like it gives good moisture and slip to detangle. Um, definitely a repurchase for me. There's a lot of hand soaps in here, so I'll just just start with the ones I can see on top and then uh, maybe we'll find some more. So this is the Bath & Body Works Cherry Vanilla Float with the set notes of cherry, shaved coconut, and vanilla cream. This is amazing. It's so good. They have repackaged it in the past. I hope they do come out with it again because I would repurchase that. Um, this one we had in the kitchen, sunshine and lemon, scent notes of yuzu, grapefruit, and sun rays. It's pretty generic. It's a good citrus scent for the kitchen, but not something that I am like seeking out again. This one is amazing. This is pumpkin apple, scent notes of red delicious apples, fall pumpkin and clove buds. Oh, it's just is like Michael's store in a hand soap. It smells so good. I loved this packaging. I felt like this was so adorable. I would definitely purchase in the future. And then a strawberry pound cake. This one has scent notes of strawberry, fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I feel like we all know, <laughs> know the scent notes of strawberry shortcake like by heart by now. This was good. I like it in a hand soap. It's not like something that I am running to get again, but if it's, you know, there and part of a sale and I can't find something else I like, I will always repurchase it. It's like an oldie, but a good. Or I think this is, this is it in there. <laughs> Another one of You Cake My Breath Away Sweet Sugar Sprinkles. I finished one of these in my last video and I caved and I bought a three pack on Mercari. So I have two more of these. It is so good. The scent notes are whipped vanilla, confetti, sprinkles, and sugared strawberries. I just cannot get over how delicious of a scent this is. I wish they would bring it back. And then the last one was starfruit sangria, scent notes of golden starfruit, kiwi nectar, and chilled sangria. This one I didn't really love. It was good for the beginning of summer, very fresh, very fruity, kind of watery, um, but not something I would probably purchase again if they were to bring it back. More a Boyfriend Empty. So this is another one of those just bar soaps he uses. This one we actually got from TJ Maxx. I feel like they have the, the huge bar soaps always for like three bucks, so cheap. This brand, I don't even know, Gentleman brand, luxurious bar soap. It smelled like men's bar soap. I don't know. He didn't have anything to say besides the fact that it was huge and it lasted a long time. And then this one, oops, this one, let's face it forward, is the Harry's 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, we got this at Target. Um, he didn't have anything to say about this one except for the fact that it is like excessively minty. Like... This is like a mintier than my toothpaste. It is so minty and like tingly. So if you don't like that, I would highly recommend staying away from this. If you do like that, then maybe check it out. Um, like I said, he liked it. It's even like making my mouth water how minty it is. He liked it, but it was very minty. So take that information and do with it what you want. <laughs> So I had this um, scrub that went with the Kopari um, set that I finished earlier. This is a coconut crush scrub. This I think came free with something. So I just used it at the same time that I was using those other Kopari um, products. This was interesting. It was a pretty abrasive scrub. So if you're looking for that, it's great. Um, I don't know what the exfoliating particles were in it. Am I going to be able to get some out for you? I don't know if it was like coconut um, shell pieces or sand or what, um, but it was pretty abrasive and it had like an oil base to it. 
So I liked it because it was moisturizing. Um, but I didn't like it because that oil base kind of like clogged up my razor after I would, um, if I would exfoliate and then shave. So I would do the opposite. I would shave and then exfoliate, which I don't really think benefits you that much, but that's how I use this. Um, so yeah, probably not a repurchase for me. It, it is very moisturizing, but I just I didn't like the logistics of using it. If for me, this was way back, like kind of in the spring I was finishing this up. Um, I finished these all together. So let me start by saying I, I had pulled out this Method Body Peony Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Lotion. So I've used the shower gel in the past of this scent. So I knew I liked the smell of it. I picked up the lotion. When I tell you, this is only, this isn't even half a liter. When I tell you this lasted me forever and I don't know why, because I felt like I was using <clears throat> a normal amount of product. I wasn't using any less or any more. I felt like it, you know, sunk in nice. Um, I have no idea why this lasted me forever, but it lasted me so freaking long that I had to use two body washes to go with it before that was finished. So the first one I had started with it was the Mario Badescu Rose Body Soap, which I love the smell of this, but I had like these, and this has never happened to me before. So it ha I think it has to be this. I had these like scaly, dry patches that I had to put like steroid cream on to have it go away like on my side and like my hip and places that like I've never had that before and I think it was this because once I stopped using this I haven't had it since knock on wood um I had never had it prior to using this so despite this smelling amazing I would not repurchase so because that that lotion took forever to finish up I whipped out this gingham gorgeous bar soap from Bath and Body Works and I finished off that lotion with this um I love gingham gorgeous this smells really really good I think it's starting to get overplayed so I do have a shower gel in it I don't think I'm gonna use that anytime soon um so I don't think I would repurchase Gingham Gorgeous in the future, but this bar soap was pretty good. Okay, some skincare. I finished the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. This was the Water Boost version. I felt like this was really good. Um, I always get like my micellar water um, from either Ulta or I feel like I have like a, a, like a fuzzy on my face. It's like sticking to my face. Anyways. I always get my micellar waters from either Ulta or TJ Maxx. And so this one I believe I got from TJ Maxx and I really liked it. Um, I would repurchase it in the future. The only downside is this comes in a smaller bottle and I prefer the like bigger bottles in micellar water. So um, maybe a repurchase in the future. A handful of more skincare stuff. This one's just a mini of the Mario Badescu facial spray with coconut water. I got this as my free birthday gift from Ulta. I liked this to kind of just hydrate the face before I put um, hyaluronic acid on. So that was good. Um, I finished this Origins Ginseng Oil-Free Energy Boosting Moisturizer. You know, I think this is like the second time I've used this and every time I get it, I like want to love it. But I just, it's never like severely impressed me. So I don't think I would have purchased this again. I love the packaging. I like the way it smells, but as for like an actual moisturizer, I'm just not impressed. So I wouldn't repurchase that. When I had purchased that though, it came with this free glow boosting mask sample. I also would just kind of put this over the top of that because I didn't feel like that was moisturizing enough. So I put this on the top. This sample was half a fluid ounce. It lasted me forever. Um, again though, just like not super impressed. I wouldn't repurchase. Then I got this sample of the Winky Lux um, Orange You Bright Exfoliator. At first I was really impressed with this. I loved the super citrusy smell. I liked the way it looked. I felt like it exfoliated good. However, I feel like it broke me out. So I would not, I, I literally almost bought it the full size. I had it in my Ulta cart. And then after using it for a while, I was like, I actually think this is breaking me out. And I took it out of my cart. So I did like this. Um, it also was a little like warming, um, at least for me. I felt like when I was rubbing it on my face, it felt warming. So all good experience with this. However, like I said, I think it broke me out. So I did not purchase that. Then I finished this Biotherm Blue Therapy Eye Cream. This one was okay. I had finished one in my last empties video from this um, Biotherm line that I actually liked 
better. I think that other one was the Life Plankton one, and this one's the Blue Therapy. This one, like I said, was okay. I liked the other one better. I don't think I would purchase an eye cream from Biotherma anytime soon, at least. Another men's bar soap. This is the Hero one. Um, again, like I said, he just really uses any bar soap. My fave ever. <laughs> cotton rounds or squares I guess the Shiseido facial cotton I'm obsessed with these they're my favorite I literally will the day that I have to use regular like cotton rounds on my face I just really can't even think about it I love these things <laughs> that's so dramatic but it's true um and then I finished a pack of the mighty patch original patches I like these things and I think they're effective. However, and I think I talked about this in my last video, I found a, a pimple patch that I like better by the brand Zit Sticka. It's kind of hard to say. Um, so I think moving forward, I'll only purchase the Zit Sticka ones, but the Hero ones are good nonetheless. I'm going to try to finish up the body care really quick and then move on to all the little things I have in there. Um, and then I have some candles. So first little body care thing, actually my boyfriend finished was a Karma uh, soap sample from Lush that I got. I do not personally like the Karma scent. He liked it, so he used it. Um, I also finished this Tree Hut. It looks disgusting, so I'm not going to hold it up for long. Tree Hut Cotton Candy Body Scrub. This took me, the body, I don't exfoliate that often, so the body scrubs take me forever to finish. So I like it. Right now I have the, the new coffee one that they came out with, which will probably last me a whole year to finish. So I don't need to purchase a lot of those, but I do like them. Um, and the last body care set that I used is from the body shop. This is the mango shower gel and the mango um, body yogurt. I like the mango smell from the body shop. It is very much just like straight up mango, kind of very like green. Like it smells like a not very sweet and juicy ripe mango, but I like it. It's just a simple scent. It's not perfumey at all. It's great for the summertime. This body yogurt um, formula was great for the summertime too because boy did that have a very like thin texture that sank right into the skin. I could see where if you had very dry skin that this would not work for you. For me in the summertime it was okay but I definitely could not get away with it in the winter. So I like the body shop. I have a few more sets that I'm going to use up and I would always repurchase. Let's talk about candles. I usually don't finish a lot of candles in the summer months but I finished two summer candles this time and then one leading into fall. I can't open that up. Okay, let's start with this first one. Then. Watermelon lemonade. I will always, always finish. Oh, the light's getting wonky. Okay. I will always, always finish a watermelon lemonade candle every summer. It is my favorite summer scent. And this summer, no exception. It smells so delicious the perfect blend of watermelon sugar and lemon and that's what the scent notes are um i wasn't like the biggest fan of this packaging per se but i love the scent so i think i already have another one for next summer i'm sorry about the wonky lighting i always like film in front of my window so unfortunately we're just gonna have to deal with that then i have this mini in waikiki beach coconut <gasps> this was so good Tropical white coconut, saltwater breeze, and sun bleached woods. Oh, that's exactly what it smelled like. It has a little bit of a sunscreeny, fresh linen, palm kind of scent to it, but it has that tropical white coconut. Oh my god, this was so good. And it smelled so just refreshing in the house. I would definitely repurchase. And even this little candle really... Um, really spread throughout. So I would definitely, oh, now you get to look at my unmade bed. <laughs> I would definitely repurchase that. And then I had only a little chunk of this left from last year. So I just finished this up moving into fall here. This is the vanilla bean um, uh, candle with set notes of Madagascar vanilla, marshmallow, and nutmeg. This candle is good, but if you burn it, for me at least, if I were to burn it for long periods of time or like multiple days in a row, it would get sickening to me. So that's why I had it like left over from last year because I was like, okay, I need to like take a break from it. I'm getting too like sick from it, like headache, nauseous. So I took a break from it last year and then when I re it this year, I was like, oh my God, this is why I fell in love with this candle. It's like so good. So it definitely is like 
a candle you need to like in my opinion spread out or get like a mini of um I don't think I would repurchase this in the future just because of that finickiness of it but like I said when I relit it this go around I thought it smelled so good so it's kind of for me I guess at least a hit or miss. I have all these minis that I finished on a trip and I'm like, where did I go on a trip? We went and camping um, for a long weekend to a yurt um, in uh, like the Adirondacks area. So I have some things that we finished, I finished while we were on that trip. Um, so I have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner. I love these. I have a bunch of the like little samples from when I was used to work at Ulta. So that's why I've been using them up traveling. Um, I totally would repurchase the full size of those. Um, I think they make my hair feel great and I love the smell. Um, I had finished this little lotion on that trip, the Amber Blush Lotion from Bath & Body Works. This I had just laying around for a very long time. I was like, it is time to use that up. I had finished this Grown Alchemist um, Gentle Gel Facial Cleanser while we were on that trip as well. This was good. I liked it. However, it was really hard to like use the mini because like it had just this like open hole without any like, there was no control. Like I feel like the whole bottle like poured out the first time I used it. So um, just a little bit of a packaging issue with that. I don't think I would repurchase that one. I also just finished up the micro exfoliating face wash from Philosophy on that trip. Did not like that too, too much. I feel like it is very micro exfoliating. And then I just had this in my travel makeup bag, which I had finished on that trip is the Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. Um, I actually don't like this powder. It's really white um, and you can have flashback and it just doesn't look good, um, but it was fine to travel with, but I wouldn't ever like purchase that. So I pulled the, um, I pulled the blind down so we don't have that weird glare anymore. So let's just power through for the last few products and then just a little stack of um, wallflowers. So this uh, next product to finish is the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder in the Banana Shade. I always take the lid out of these so that I can get every last drop out this is like one of my favorite setting powders the banana one is not too yellow like i feel like i can i, I mean i did use it as just an all-over setting powder and it didn't give me any kind of like yellow tint or any weirdness to my um makeup so definitely repurchase for me i think you get a lot of money or sorry you get a lot of product for your money it's really good um, then I finished one of my oldie but goodie all-time faves, the Maybelline Fit Me um, Concealer in Sand. I literally have like three of these going at all times. Like I have another one that I'm currently using. I have one on my backup. Like I have them, I have one in my travel bag. I have them everywhere. It's such like a cheap, reliable concealer. Love it. Then I have the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Um, I just used both sides for my brows. Um, the literal only difference is the shape of the, um, the wand. So this one's like, what side is this one? The lash side is more of like a rounded wand. And the brow side is just more like rectangular. They do the exact same thing. This is like $2. Um, it's just a great clear. It's not, doesn't set super like hard and crunchy. It's amazing. I already have another one. And then lastly for makeup, I finished the Biotherm Smoothing Replumping Lip Balm. I just kept this over here at my little makeup desk and I would put this on prior to starting my makeup and prior to putting whatever lip products I wanted on. Um, I liked it for that. I feel like it kind of did give like a white cast to my lips though, so I didn't love that about it. Um, so I would not repurchase and I've, I've, uh, replaced it with the, um, fresh sugar lip balm. So, and I like that better. So finish those. Lastly, I'm just going to whiz through this little pile of wallflowers that I have left. Um, and we're done. So I finished the under the magnolia tree. Okay. I love this scent. I actually have it in a candle right now. Um, the scent notes for it are magnolia petals, lemon zest, and peach blossoms. It is so good and floral in the best ways possible. Also a little soft. Um, so I had purchased it in the wallflower, fell in love, and then bought the candle. Definitely a repurchase. Waikiki Beach Coconut. You guys know I love this in the candle as well. 
I'm not going to read the scent notes again, but that's a good one. Flower Child is an, also another really good floral. Um, White Narcissus, Cashmere Musk, and Cedarwood. It was good. Not as memorable as the Magnolia one. Strawberry Pound Cake. Duh. Love that one. Saltwater Breeze. This was a good fresh one. Fresh Linen, Violet Leaves, Water Blossom, and White Musk. I liked that. Two lavender vanillas, um, which are my all-time favorite for the bedroom. I only ever have lavender vanilla in the bedroom. It is so good from them. It's lavender, but just soft and kind of marshmallowy. It's lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, white woods, and sugared musk. And then lastly, a leaves, which is classic for the fall time, crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. I have this downstairs right now and it just smells so good walking into my house. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the weird lighting towards the end here. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.